Hello, so here I am in my ambulance and just wanting to give a tour of kind of the interior and exterior showing its current state before I get started on building it too much. I just got it back from the shop um, for Pennsylvania inspection and already started on a couple things, but otherwise it's pretty much in the condition that I bought it in. <clears throat> so just wanting to show the exterior, interior, all the existing equipment and current setup uh, before I start making modifications. All right, here is my 1994 Ford E350 cutaway van. It is the iconic 7.3 liter diesel engine. Uh, it is the IDI, not the Navistar one. Um, as you can see, there is plenty of outdoor lockers and storage, um, as well as floodlights on the outside. Coming around the back, we've got the double doors open. You can see in. So here's our jumper seat with uh, three seat belts. Up front, we have a storage that actually has a locker that goes to the outside. Um, there is a, a heater in AC unit, as well as the radio. Then over on this side, we've got the jumper seat, some cabinetry above, a control panel, and some more storage on this side. Um, and over here, we actually have a jumper seat that flips up to provide our fourth and fifth seats, giving this a grand total of seven seats for legal passengers. Um, this actually drops down. We got a nice little workstation. I might do something with a laptop there. And we've got a little throughway, way um, some more storage here, as well as a cabinet where I think the battery and inverter was. More storage on this side. And coming through into the cab, we've got our driver's side with all of its gear and passenger side. Um, pretty comfortable seating overall and all of the instrument panel from its ambulance days. All right, now I'm gonna kind of show all the outdoor storage. We've got the rear back panel, um, just a standard box here. Um, we've got the main door that goes into this. I actually had to fix this lock, which I'll talk about later. Um, and then the nice thing is it has this throughway cabinet, which as you can see, goes into the main area. So you have access from both indoor and outdoor to that location. We've got our two uh, batteries that power the motor. Um, I'll be going over the electronic system later. And also this massive tall locker. It's actually large enough that I can stand up in. And this will kind of be my fun locker. It's currently got a uh, longboard and skis and other random gear showing yeah the passenger door through to the front door we've got our light bar up top which legally i think i will have to remove coming through to the other side yeah showing this other locker system so i plan on doing like propane um, maybe a camper shower and some general like kind of meat and bones um, in this locker here uh, this one uh, actually has a pass through um, up into the into the main area. So this will be what I do for my water system. I'm thinking 20 to 30 gallons of fresh water and five to 10 gallons of gray water collection. Super nice to have a sink on the inside that has access to load and unload the water on the outside. And coming through, we've got another storage locker here. Uh, I'm gonna kind of swing in and show that pass through to the outside. Oh, it's kind of glowing, this looks sweet. <clears throat> so these were waste receptacles, um, and as you can see, it just drops straight through. So I'm gonna figure out a, a sink system to come in here and have it just pass straight through. I'm thinking sink and then cook stove there. Uh, try to have that be kind of a workstation as well. And my main modification will be changing this cabinet into um, straight up and down. I think this will be my closet where I can just hang up clothes because I hate doing laundry. And if you just hang them, you don't have to fold them. I'm um, not sure what I'll do with the heater system. It runs off the main uh, engine and I would prefer to be able to boondock without that on. What's really cool is all of the electronic system inside of here. Every single thing that made this run, um, it's even got wall power there. Um, which with the inverter installed, we've got one, two, three um, regular 110 volt wall outlets. Uh, super, super convenient to have. Over on this side, we've got access out the back doors. Um, it's double doors that swing open. 
and also lock. Super nice to have that. Um, we've got storage over here, so they're all sliding doors with felt lines, keeps it from rattling. And all of this is super well built that I don't think I'm gonna change too much on it. Got more storage here, and then this actual eye bolt, which locks into behind this is that outdoor locker cabinet. Um, so it'd be hard to modify anything there. I, I really don't want to cut too much. I just want to work with it as is and keep it pretty simple. Here's a quick demo of the startup sequence and the electronics demonstration. So we've got a master power switch here. Turn this to the on position because this kills power to absolutely everything in it. I'll set this here and next keys in as normal. You actually have to press and hold the engine start button for about 15 seconds. Uh, this is heating up the glow plugs um, for a diesel engine, if you're not familiar with that. After about 15 seconds, it should be good. And there she goes. The cool thing about this is the engine is actually sitting right behind this. Um, there's some clips down here that you can pull actually pull this whole thing off. Um, some cool stuff in here is there's a Vortec voltage monitor. Um, if you press this, it actually idles up, um, puts the engine at a higher speed to give you more voltage power um, or drop it back down. Um, we've got a voltage meter here, amperage meter, and then this actually powers on the module master, which turns on all of our lights in the back. Um, it's essentially a disconnect between the, the truck cab and the house cab um, and allows for all that to go. We've got our left flood, right flood, and rear. Uh, so those all the floodlights on the sides of it, um, which I think will make for a pretty fun outdoor patio kind of setup. Uh, here is our emergency master. And then this powers on all the sirens and lights. Uh, and if I was to flip these, then we'd make some noise. One pretty cool feature that this has is shore power. So you can just take a wall plug and drop it into here. And now that electrifies certain components inside of the box. And it actually has a system that when you start up the engine, it will eject out a pin and it'll pop this off. So in case you were in the emergency and forgot to unplug it, you could start up the engine and it would pop that out. You could drive away without yanking the wire out. Um, and as I had mentioned, uh, the dome lights no longer work when it's on shore power. However, these fluorescent floor bulbs do. Um, so I'm able to run that when I'm parked and, and plugged into power, as well as all of the electrical outlets inside. Um, they glow orange, indicating that they're powered. Um, overall, this is super nice. Uh, I think it would be better if I could tap into that system. Um, it currently does not actually charge up the batteries and so it'd be nice to provide that access as well as maybe to make the heater system or something work um a couple different ideas floating around but that's diving into some electronics that i don't fully understand yet um and so we will see what we end up doing with that um but yeah so speaking on that um i will be installing a rooftop fan to help pull all the air out um, help during uh, summer conditions to keep it cool without having to use AC. Um, I plan on doing a couple solar panels um, and then tapping them into maybe a separate battery system or the existing battery system, but making sure that all the power that I draw doesn't take away from any power that would be used to start up the engine. Um, so yeah, figuring out solar to solar charging to batteries um, and keeping all of the systems uh, integrated in a way that I could um, use up as much power as I want to and not worry about draining the battery and then be able to start it up, drive, and have the alternator recharge everything. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of different things to come. I'm excited to learn all about it.